What's up everybody, Warlock here, welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm finally bringing you the Rathma Army of the Dead Necromancer build for Diablo 3 in Season 27. This is a really cool build, I really do enjoy it. It just has a lot of mechanics that go in it. So as always, we're going to go over everything that you need for the build and then we're going to do a GR at the end just to showcase it. I know we just did the Blood Nova build and a lot of people got... I don't want to say upset, but they missed out on, on a gameplay video that we normally do for the channel, and I just didn't happen to put it in there. But we have it in all our other build videos, so I wanted to make sure that we don't, you know, go off course from that. So we're going to have one at the end. So let's go over everything that you're going to need. Everything that we have for uh, Army of the Dead, Rathma, is all about casting our Army of the Dead. Okay, so for this build, you're going to need the Rathma six-piece set. Because this is all about having a minion build, which is really cool. Our skeletons are going to be doing a lot of damage, which is going to boost our damage. And then we're going to trigger Army of the Dead to just kill everything in a giant AoE splash. So you're going to need five of the six pieces for Rathmas, which is great. We're pairing this with our Captain Crimson set because this build is a cool down dependent build. We need lots and lots of cooldown because Army of the Dead is 120 seconds and we need to be able to cast this, you know, all the time. Now, we have a few things that are going to help us out. We got Captain Crimson's here along with a lot of cooldown on our build, which is great. So then we paired this with Bonds of Selena, which is Army of the, Get of the Dead gets increased damage. And then it doubles the bonus if it's against an active uh, command skeleton target, which we're always going to be hitting command skeletons on everything. So, and then we got in our rings and amulets, we got Swords Necklace for double damage, COE for more damage, and then the Crispin Sentence for just ungodly amounts of damage, which is also going to give us our power. So, let's go over the power real quick. You're going to want enemies within 50 yards are constantly assaulted by Army of the Dead. Unconventional warfare while this is equipped. So, we're going to go over that in the skills, but that is the power that you need for this build, which makes it just incredibly strong. Now, our weapons that we have that paired with this is going to be the Justice set. Uh, the target of the command skeletons dies. Your skeletons automatically command to attack a nearby target, which is great. And then while they're commanded to attack, you deal in 400% increased damage. So we got big, big damage. This build is very tanky in some aspects. But if you do have trouble surviving, then you can change a few things up. So our legendary gems, we have Bane of the Trap for more damage. Gogok of Swiftness to give us some good dodge uh, bonus and attack speed, but mainly to help give us uh, additional cooldown. And then Zayas for just even more damage. All right, so into the cube, guys, we have Funerary Pick to help give us some damage for Sy Siphon Blood with Power Shift, which is awesome. We got Fate's Vow, which Army of the Dead deals additional damage and gains the effect of the unconventional warfare rune. So this is where, where this is awesome. So you get unconventional warfare uh, in, in the skill, which gives us allow us to take two runes, which is awesome. And then Ring Royal Grandeur for the two sets. Into our skills, we're rocking Siphon Blunt Power Shift for just more damage, which is awesome. Uh, we have Command Skeletons Frenzy, which just gives them a high attack speed and uh, to deal more damage um, as physical. This is going to help give us some cooldown on Army of the Dead. Potency, Blood Rush to help get us around. Revive, Personal Army. We need this because we get damage reduction for each minion that we have. And then, of course, Bone Armor Distillation, which is insane. Helps keep us alive and then it also triggers our Crispin Sentence, which is awesome. And then, of course, Army of the Dead, Death Valley. Now, keep in mind that this has Death Valley plus Unconventional Warfare. So, it's going to pull everything to the center and Unconventional Warfare is just going to blow them all up. Into our uh, passives, guys, we have Grisly Tribute. You're healed 10% of your life on hit. When one of your minions hit an enemy, they should be non-stop. So this is great. This help keeps, keeps us alive. Rigor Mortis for, uh, gives us attack speed increase for poison abilities, which is awesome. And then Rasmus Shield to help keep us alive. Uh, and then we have Extended Fortitude for just to allow them to last even longer. Now, you have a couple things here in the passives, guys. You could change some things up. I like the increased duration of our minions, but you can change this out. You could do Final Servitude. You could do more Essence if you really wanted to. Uh, you could do Commander of the Dead. The Essence costs. I mean, you don't really have to do that one because they're always going to be there, but you could increase the attack speed on Siphon Blood, which is awesome with Swift Harvesting. Uh, you could do Blood for Blood. So you have a couple options there. I just like Extended Fortitude. 
just to keep them alive a little bit longer. So that is the passes for the build, guys. Now, how this build works. So we need to go up and we need to pop Desolation Armor first, which helps triggers this. We're going to hit our Siphon Blood and Command Skeletons on those guys because we need to raise 10 minions first. We want to do that. We want to pop Desolation, hit uh, Revive to get some minions up, and then we just want to Siphon Blood and Command Skeletons on everything. And then Army of the Dead always. Whenever this comes up, pop it on a group, pop it on some elites, and then hit Potency to get around the map to go fast. Now, this build is not necessarily a speed build. The speed build and the push build are very similar. The runes are, or your gems might change just a little bit, uh, but the build plays the exact same. So there's not too much to change here in that case. You could swap out like uh, Zayas for Bane of the, tr of the Stricken if you really wanted to for more damage, especially against the Rift Guardians at the higher tiers. But that's the really only the changes that we're doing so let's get into the uh, gr real quick so i can showcase the build for you guys we're just gonna do a, a 95 we could probably actually do a 100 let's try a 100 uh, now this build is gonna be super fast we're aiming for anything under three minutes so we're aiming for three minutes that's gonna give us a really good um just you know allow us to farm uh you know paragon and xp as much as possible this build isn't the fastest uh, but we can definitely do it under three minutes, so that's what you're looking for. So let's pop in here and knock in here. Let's knock this out. Get desolation popping. We go ahead and kill some stuff. Raise the dead. We always want to target our skeletons and get them going. Right. Try to get up to our ten desolation here. Oh, uh, we did not mean we casted the wrong thing. That's right, we want to try to keep our distance as much as we can. And, like, hopefully not get beamed like that. Again, the build is not the, the craziest, that's for sure. I really do enjoy the build, though. It's super fun, super strong. It's just, it requires a different play style that I'm just not, like, used to. Which is kind of nuts, but like once you get the mechanics down, the build becomes just so strong. And you can see that we are just tearing stuff up. Just absolutely tearing stuff up. Oh boy. That was a close one. Try to get power going. You should always be able to get your, your army to dead. There's just so many mechanics that come into this, and I definitely, I definitely think it's it's for uh, you know, not the faint of heart in that in that sense because the build can definitely be tough to play. We just we just need to make sure that you're you're fighting at a distance, you're going through your skills, right? Non-stop. Make sure you're always sending your skeletons at people, and you should be fine. It just takes a lot to get used to it, which is kind of nuts. I'm not that great at this guy, so don't judge me. All right, don't be don't be too harsh, okay? Don't be too harsh on me. I, it just there's so many mechanics. I'm used to playing simpler builds, you know, because for the simple mind, you know what I mean? So I mean we're we're, we're crushing, we're crushing, we're crushing this GR100. We're probably going to finish around the, the three mark, which isn't bad. Definitely not bad. And again, anything two to three minutes is pretty good in this. Keep the skeletons going. Get your get your army to dead up. No problem. I wish we had a better map to showcase this on, guys. We're definitely getting to... This, this map is actually pretty good. Yeah, this map is solid. Oh, you are not going to fight me, buddy. Sorry. Try to get Kim Crimson Sentence popping. Charge him over there. Yeah, see, once you, like, start to get it down and, and get it, it can be so fun to play. You're going to be casting. You're going to be casting it so often for Army of the Dead. It's just so much fun. Send my skeletons. Come on. There we go. 
So not bad, not bad, not bad. I think we did it in, what, three minutes and some change? Wasn't too gnarly, but it is a good showcase of the build, guys. I'm just not that great at it. I like the simpler things, more like uh, Blood Nova. Just move and cast... Just move and cast blood or siphon blood and just kill everything. But let's get back into town. Let's check out and see how much how, how much we did this in. So three minutes, 20 seconds. Not like the best, not super ideal, guys. But that is the build. I wanted to showcase this for you. The build is super, super strong. Uh, you can be kind of squishy. I felt like in the PTR, was it was a lot more tanky. Um, but I, I'm just playing too close to the enemies which is just not the play for this you got to get used to playing more at a distance make sure you go through and get your command skeletons popping to hit army of the dead but the build is very 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 strong so don't judge me too much guys in the comments about the gr but that is rathma army of the dead it is a very good build i felt like if i play this a lot more it'll be just in tune and you're just going to be popping off so Thank you so much for watching, guys. That's Rathma build. If you guys did enjoy uh, today's video, make sure to drop a like. Comment down below what do you guys think about Rathma in Season 27. I really do appreciate that. And subscribe if you guys are new here. All the support has been fantastic for Diablo 3. Uh, so thank you guys so much. We got more and more videos coming your way. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. As always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.